Our first guest today is Dr. Letty Doran of Brunswick Novant Medical Center. Well, welcome to the show today, Dr. Doran. It's such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I'd like to begin by uh, getting to know you a little better and uh, learn about your educational experiences and what have you. Could you share that with our viewers, please? Sure. Um, uh, undergrad was done at Palm Beach Atlantic College in Florida. Mm -hmm. From there, I went to University of Miami for medical school. And after that, I did a residency program in family medicine at North Shore University Hospital in Glen Cove, New York. Wow, you started out where it's really hot and you went where it's really cold. Huh? I know, I did the opposite. <laughs> What's wrong with <laughs> that picture? <laughs> well, I understand that you're new to Brunswick Novant Medical Center. Um, where did you practice prior to coming to uh, the Novant Medical Center? Just prior to practicing at Brunswick Novant, I practiced at Dozier Memorial Hospital as a hospitalist. Mm -hmm. Before that, I was uh, practicing inpatient medicine with North Shore University Hospital at Valley Stream. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, how are you enjoying working at Brunswick Novant Medical Center? I love it. Do you really? Yeah, I do. I do. It's an excellent place to practice medicine. Well, that's great to hear. Um, so you have special training as a hospitalist, am I right? I am board certified in family medicine, mm -hmm. and I have worked in hospitalist medicine for the last several years. Mm -hmm. So as a family practitioner, you take care of folks of all ages, children? In my training, I took care of folks of all ages. Mm -hmm. uh, subsequent to that, I, I focused more on adult medicine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we've had a few of the other hospitalists on the show and on the past shows, but it's been a while. So it might be good to explain to our viewers what a hospitalist actually is and what a hospitalist does. A hospitalist is a physician that primarily focuses on inpatient medicine. Mm -hmm. um, they'll follow the patient from the time they're in the emergency room and admitted through their hospital stay and then discharge them home. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you see patients then exclusively at the hospital? Correct. Mm -hmm. Well, I have heard some comments from community folks about um, the hospital's program and how it fits in with their primary care physician. Um, can we talk a little bit about how that process works? From working on both sides of inpatient yeah. and outpatient medicine, I'll tell you, um, hospitalists free up the primary care provider to provide outpatient care mm -hmm. solely mm -hmm. rather than have to split their time between their their patients in their clinic as well as the hospitalist, mm -hmm. as well as the hospital. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> there are um, several hospitalists at Brunswick Novant Medical Center, correct? Correct. How, how many are there? There are six. Six. Mm -hmm. So theoretically patients could see um, different hospitalists while they're there, depending on the length of their stay. Absolutely. Right? I'm curious about the process that a patient might get admitted to your service. For instance, if a patient was um, presented at the emergency room uh, for whatever, uh, could you walk me through that process of how a patient starts there and gets admitted to um, the unit? Certainly. Um, first, the emergency department physician will evaluate the patient and determine oh. whether or not they require evaluation by a hospitalist. Uh -oh. They'll call the hospitalist. The hospitalist will come down and check out the patient talk with them, take a history, do a physical, check with the, um, the different diagnostic studies that may or may not have been done with the mm -hmm. emergency department, and um, admit them to the hospital. So we'll write orders. They'll go from the emergency department to a hospital room. And then from there, they'll get the proper treatment that they require, whether it be antibiotics or heart medicine or mm -hmm. blood pressure medicine. Um, well, does all the, um, all the testing happen generally prior to them being admitted to a hospital bed? No, I won't say all the testing happens prior. Mm -hmm. There are certainly times that we admit patients for further testing also. Mm -hmm. I see. Well, what about specialists like, like surgeons? How are they, or maybe urologists, how are they involved in the care of their patients and, and, and in relation to the hospitalist team? Well, um, frequently surgeons or urologists will admit their own patients for their, for their surgery, um, and then we can follow as consult, uh, consultants for mm -hmm. their medical issues. Mm -hmm. um, or we admit medical patients who may need surgery and we'll consult the uh, surgeons at that time. Mm -hmm. 
So you have a good relationship. You, you, it's easy for that transition between one physician and another, yes. between the yes. surgeon and you as a hospitalist. Well, I'm curious, with so many hospitalists, and I know there's probably a couple on during the day and then one on at night, and as you change um, providers or change shifts, how does that uh, information get uh, transferred from one physician to another? The hospitalist changing shifts will sit down with each other and go over the list of patients that we're carrying at the time mm -hmm. and details regarding the care and what, what management is, is taking place at that time, what mm -hmm. medications they're getting, mm -hmm. how they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, and so that occurs at the change of shift? Correct, yes. Now, I think you have um, a nurse uh, that works with you all that... Um, yes, we have Lillian. She's our discharge planning nurse. Mm -hmm. planning nurse. And, and what is her role? What does she do um, in terms of discharge planning? Um, she is of great assistance. When a patient is getting discharged, the hospitalist will do most of the paperwork. Mm -hmm. Lillian will go over the medications with the patient, make sure they understand what medications they have uh, to take when they go home. And she'll also make appointments for the patients if they're required to follow up. With their primary care or with, with their With their surgeon? primary care, with specialists. Mm -hmm. um, I also... Uh, heard that uh, there's follow-up after the patient goes home. It, tell me about yes. that. Yes, um, Lillian will also call if a culture result comes in or if we were um, awaiting a test result. She will call the patient with that result and make sure that they, they have the medication that they need or they have the follow-up that they require for that. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great touch, you know, touching base with the patient once they're discharged, just to make sure everything's going all right and they understood their medication and what, how they're supposed to do it. It's it's priceless. It really is. Mm -hmm. I think that um, the patients probably really like that, and I, I bet the families really like that. Well, because the patient's getting a lot of information at the sure. time of discharge. A couple days later, they probably have questions <laughs> anyway. I and know I would. <laughs> yes. so. so it's 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 amazing. It's an excellent excellent position. Mm -hmm. Well, I know you're glad to have her. Uh, now, I'm curious, do all the primary care physicians um, utilize the hospitalist services? Most of them do. There mm -hmm. are a couple that, d that admit their own patients. Mm -hmm, that still see their own patients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great information, Dr. Doran. Um, is there anything uh, that you'd like to um, talk about before we close? Um, actually, there is. I, I've worked at a, at a few hospitals before I came here, mm -hmm. and I have to say that um, frequently there's a lot of lip service given to quality and joint commission requirements. Mm -hmm. And I have to say that um, in my experience, just in the last few months with Brunswick, that it's not just lip service, that quality and patient safety means something it there. It really matters there. It does. Yes, we hear that. Um, we've heard that from many of our guests on past shows about how important quality is at Brunswick Novant Medical Center, and they truly care about the patients. So uh, I'm really happy to hear you say that. So thank you so much for joining us today. And um, I have to tell you that we're just so glad to have you on our team at Brunswick Novant Medical Center. I'm glad to be there. All right. Thanks again for coming. Thank you.